Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Christopher here. Welcome to another video of Cars Unlocked. Today I'm showing you the 2018 Nissan Kicks SV. I already did the top model, the SR. We're gonna check out the SV. I can't wait to show you and let's take a closer look. Okay, so they've made the Kicks to target us millennials. This one is the SV, like I said, right in the middle. Gives you a few added features that you don't get in the base model without going up to that top model. Um, they took the Nissan Versa engine, that 1.6 engine, and put it into a little larger vehicle. Um, Nissan's not making the Nissan Juke anymore, so this is its predecessor, the Nissan Kicks. In this SV package, you do get the halogen headlights. When you go up to the top model, it does come with the LED headlights. The fog lights are standard down below on the Nissan Kicks. That's standard on all models. And obviously present on all the Nissans is their nice uh, V-Motion grille here, uh, which is below the Nissan emblem. Another standard safety feature that is added to the Kicks is the forward intelligent emergency braking. So it will help you decrease your stopping distance when you're in an emergency and when you're getting close to a forward collision. So the mirrors are breakaway mirrors. Uh, in this SV package, you do get the matching body colored mirrors. So you have the gray mirror caps with your gray exterior. The unique thing about the Nissan Kicks is you can change your color combinations any way you like. Um, you can go with an orange top and orange mirrors with the gray exterior. You can get orange wheel inserts, all different colors which you can change and adjust on the Nissan Color Studio. So when you go up to the SV package, you do get the 17 inch aluminum alloy rims. It's a two tone rim with the silver and black. Uh, it comes up from the base model. The base model has 16 inch wheels with the steel covers. So you get the bit, a little bit more sporty rims um, in the two tone black and the gray. Checking out the back, the overall height of the Nissan Kicks is 62.4 inches. So you get a lot of space in the rear. And there's not much to show on the exterior side of the rear. It does come standard with the backup camera, which is right below our Nissan emblem, and then our kicks and our SV badging. Okay, so looking at the power plan of the Nissan kicks, it's a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. It's gonna pump out about 125 horsepower at 5,800 RPM. Nissan's uh, continuous variable transmission, the CVT transmission is obviously present in the kicks. Front wheel drive only. You can't go with an all wheel drive um, with this vehicle. They want you to go up to the Rogue or the Qashqai if you want to achieve the all wheel drive. Uh, it does come with quite a few safety features. The hill start assist, Nissan's advanced airbag system obviously. And like I mentioned earlier, the Ford emergency braking. No blind spot warning in this one until you go up to the top model. Fuel mileage, you're going to average about 7.2 uh, liters for every 100 kilometers combined or 39 miles per gallon. Best fuel mileage you would get is about 6.6 .6 on the highway is what it's rated for. It's going to come with Nissan standard factory warranty here in Canada. Three years, 60,000 for the comprehensive, five year, 100,000 for your powertrain and three year roadside assistance. So taking a look at the key, when you go up to the SV, you do move up to the Nissan Intelligent key. It does have the lock, the unlock, and the panic button right on it. Uh, so let's unlock this and take a look at the interior. I just need to have the key in the proximity of the vehicle, and I can push to lock, and I can push to unlock the doors here. So now we're on the interior of the Nissan Kicks. Uh, lots of space in here compared to the Nissan Juke. Uh, when you go up to the SV, you get a few added features. I mentioned the push button start. Um, it does have the nice D-shaped wheel that Nissan's putting in a lot of their SUVs nowadays. Headlights are automatic. My Bluetooth controls are right on the wheel. Um, I sit into this nice six-way manual adjusted driver's seat. So no power adjustable seat available in the Nissan Kicks. Um, I do like the nice quilted stitching that you see on the seats. Uh, just adds for a little more sporty look. Very nice graphite um, interiors here. Uh, a lot of soft surfaces on the kicks. Uh, makes for a comfier ride. And the nice two-tone between this silver graphite. So our push button start is right down below in front of the shifter knob. And then we do have our USB. Um, there is some storage in the center stack for your cell phone. Um, and then it's just a straight back um, shifter. 
Uh, one thing I can criticize about the shifter, I do not like this glossy finish that they added here. They should have went for the graphite that you see throughout the car. Um, it's pretty prone to dust and fingerprints. Um, you can see this car is brand new and it already has a lot of dust and fingerprints on it just from me touching it here. So. So Nissan has the seven inch touchscreen here for your infotainment system. Um, it's pretty quick. It's, it goes seamlessly through the different apps. You have the customizable menu that you see they've added to the Rogues and the Moranos. Um, I can do things like the um, Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. Um, it does have Wi-Fi connection ability so that you can download updates. Um, I can connect to Wi-Fi if I'm in uh, the proximity. The backup camera comes on automatically when I put it in reverse. So there you can see the backup camera and we do have those guidance lines um, to help us back into the spot. Below our screen, we do have our um, automatic temperature control. That's another feature of this SV. You do get the automatic temperature control. So it works just like the thermostat in your house. Um, as long as I just push it to auto, it's gonna automatically get to the 18 degrees. And then we do have our heated seat controls right beside it here. Our front two seats are, are heated, um, which adds to the comfier ride. Another feature when you go up to this SV, you get the heated front seats. So now we're in the back of the Nissan Kicks. Um, there is a bit more room than our Nissan Juke. Uh, lots of headroom um, with the overall height of the Kicks being a lot higher. There still isn't uh, as much space as I would like. I couldn't sit here for several hours at a time. There is two USB ports in the center stack here uh, and a spot for, to put my phone so I can use my devices. Um, but overall, there is a little bit of room back here. I'd like to see a bit more leg room, uh, but it all depends on who's in front of me. So let's take a look at the trunk. You have 716 liters of cargo volume back here. Um, I really like how high the trunk goes. As you can see, I can walk under it without hitting my head and the trunk does drop down a little bit. You have the nice um, cargo holder at the top, which is gonna hide what you have in the back. It is a 60-40 split um, for the seats. So thank you very much for watching another video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Cars Unlocked. If you have any questions about the Nissan Kicks or any other vehicles that you see in our videos, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. Have a great day.